Okay, one more time. The brakes are ch are changed according to the DMV in West Sacramento, that which is the commercial uh, DMV. So this is how you guys gonna perform in the air brake test. Okay, always remember, like I every single time I tell you, always look in the primary air gauge. Make sure the primary air gauge is on the hundred or below hundred, so that prepares the truck for every single test. So now. <clears throat> I'm gonna start talking to the examiner and I do I will perform in the air brakes and the incoming inspection in this truck that have a death. Okay? So <clears throat> today I come in to perform my air brake test. First thing I like to perform is a safety start. I'm gonna make sure my truck is in neutral. My spring brakes are applied. So I'm gonna put my key in the on position. Always remember when you're sitting here, seat belt all the time, okay? So I'm gonna put the key in the on position. I'm gonna mention that my ABS light is on, my ABS light is off in less than 10 seconds. This is a good test for my ABS light. Now that my needles are settled, I'm gonna perform in my safety start. I'm gonna press the clutch and put the start the truck. I'm gonna mention <clears throat> that the first test I'm gonna perform is my governor cutout test. For this test to be success, my governor should cut out no higher than 140 PSI. For all my tests, I will use in my primary air gauge. So I'm gonna press the fuel to accelerate the process. Especially in this truck, when you guys see that you guys passing the 125, that's the 125. <clears throat> Release the fuel and just wait. That's my governor cutout. My governor cut up at 130 PSI. This is a good test. Now, I'm gonna perform in my leakage test. For this test to be success, I should not lose more than four PSI in this tractor trailer combination. To perform the test, I will put my truck in the low gear. I'm gonna put the key in the off position. I'm gonna release my clutch. Put the key in the on position. And then I'm gonna release my spring brakes. I'm gonna put my hand right here. I'm gonna release my trailer brake and my parking brake. And then I'm gonna wait for the needle to settle. Once the needle is not moving, I'm gonna press my service brake, which is the pedal right here, right in the middle. Okay? Clutch, service brake, fuel. Okay, so I'm gonna press my service brake all the way to the floor and hold it. And I'm gonna look into the needles and see where is the needle right now, okay? Okay, my needle has settled at the 85 PSI and I'm gonna start my minute now. And then you will time in yourself with the phone or the watch. It has to be a minute and five seconds, okay? But you guys have to look at the needle to make sure the needle don't move. Okay, my minute is up, my needle is still at 85 PSI, this is a good test because I don't lose more than four PSI in one minute. After you say the sentence, you guys gonna release the service brake. And then you guys gonna tell him to the examiner, next test that, that I gonna perform is my low air warning test. For this test to be success, my warning light ambassador should come up no lower than 55 PSI. To perform the test, I will fend in my brakes. Press it hard and release it. Always look in the primary air gauge. Okay, my warning light and buzzer come out at 65 PSI. This is a good test. Now, the next test I'm gonna perform is my spring brake pop-up test. For this test to be success, both of my spring brakes should pop up. And then you guys are gonna start pressing the brake, but I want you guys to concentrate on these ones, okay? So you press it and release it till the spring brakes pop up. Okay, I hear that my both spring brakes pop up at 28 PSI. This is a good test. If for any reason the trailer pop up, you stop fending the brake and call it where is the trailer pop up. 
Sometimes a trailer pop up at 30 PSI. I will continue fending my brakes till my parking brake pop up. So you continue fending the brakes till the parking brake pop up. If the two spring brakes pop up, you call the number. My two spring brakes pop up at 27 PSI, okay? Right now, <clears throat> That's why I want you to guys to concentrate in the spring brakes to make sure the two spring brakes pop up, okay? So now I'm gonna perform another safety start. I'm gonna put my truck in neutral. My spring brakes already apply. I start the vehicle. Now I'm gonna perform in the truck test. For the truck test, I'm gonna test in my parking brake. I'm gonna test in my trailer brake. And I will test in my service brake. Okay, my service brake. So, in order to do this test, I need to uh, my air need to be built to the normal pressure. So I'm gonna press the fuel. No exceeding the 1200 RPMs. Once again, always look in the primary air gauge. What you guys are gonna perform is another governor cutout test, but we don't say governor cutout test. All we say, we're gonna wait for the air to build up to the normal pressure, okay? Always look in the primary air gauge. Okay, you guys are gonna hear it right there. Okay, my air built up to the normal pressure. Now I'm gonna preserve, pr proceed to my talk test. I'm gonna put my vehicle in the low gear, which is the second gear. And then I'm gonna release my trailer brake. I'm gonna test my parking brake. For this test to be success, my parking brake should hold this vehicle combination in place when I release the clutch. So you guys are gonna release the clutch slowly when you guys feel that the truck wants to move push him back this is a good test my parking brake hold this tractor and trailer combination in place now i'm gonna test my trailer brake pull out release for this test to be success my trailer brake should hold this tractor and trailer combination in place when i release the clutch so you guys will do the same thing. You guys wanna release the clutch slowly. When you guys feel the tilt, you guys gonna call it. This is a good test. My trailer brake holding this tractor and trailer combination in place. Now, I'm gonna test my service brake. When you say, I'm gonna test my service brake, I want you guys to put your foot on the service brake. Enough pressure so the vehicle don't move. And then you guys gonna release the two spring brakes. Okay, now I'm gonna move forward less than five miles per hour. Before I move, I'm gonna check all my mirrors to make sure it's safe to do so. Once I see it's safe to do so, I will drive forward. This is a good test. My service brake holding this tractor and trailer combination in place and my vehicle don't pull to the right or to the left indicating the brake adjustment problem. I'm gonna put my vehicle in neutral, pull the yellow one, automatically pull the red one, release my pedals. Okay, this completes all my brake tests. Now that the vehicle is running, I like to perform my income inspection. First thing I like to perform is my seat belt. My seat belt, I'm gonna make sure it's not ripped or torn and it's securely latched and unlatched. Securely mounted to the floor, securely mounted to the vehicle, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect all the mirrors. I'm gonna make sure there's no crack or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware, and all my mirrors are adjusted to me to drive. My mirrors doesn't have any legal stickers to obstruct my view when I'm driving. My window, my window, I'm gonna make sure it's rolled up and rolled down. 
it's not cracked or broken, securely mounted, no missing hardware. My windshield, my windshield is not cracked or broken, no excessive pitting, and it's securely mounted by the rubber seal. My rubber seal is not excessively worn or torn, and it will not leak. Now my windshield wipers, you guys gonna press this yellow one and hold it. My windshield wipers, they're not, not cracked or broken, they're securely attached to the arm, the arm securely attached to the vehicle, no missing hardware. My windshield wiper plate, is not excessively worn or torn and it's a full contact to the windshield. My windshield washer fluid is working properly. After that, this is a 20 inch steering wheel. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't have more than 10 degrees of play. This is my city horn, it's working properly. This is my air horn, it's working properly. Now I'm gonna inspect my light indicators. You guys are gonna turn on the lights. This is my left turn signal indicator, my right turn signal indicator, my forward flasher indicators and my high beam indicators. All my indicators are working properly. Turn off the lights. I'm gonna inspect all my gauges. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken. They're securely mounted, no missing hardware. And all my gauges, they're working properly. This is my oil pressure gauge. It's working properly, rising to normal. This is my temperature gauge. It's working properly, rising to normal. This one right here is my RPM gauge. Is working properly. The next one is my speedometer gauge. My speedometer gauge is working properly. I noticed that because I drove the vehicle here to the DMV. Right in here is my ball meter gauge. It's working properly. It should be in the range between 12 and 14. It's a little bit over the 14, but I don't affect the function of the vehicle. Right in here is my fuel gauge, indicating that I have enough fuel for all my tests. The green squares is my depth gauge indicating that I have enough depth for all my tests. I should not drive this vehicle while less than one quarter of the depth tank. This is my primary and secondary air gauge. They're working properly. We, do, we notice that because we just complete the air raid test. Right in here, I have three <clears throat> extra fuses properly rated for this vehicle. After I check in the fuses, I'm gonna come into the climbing control. I'm gonna check my defrost and my heater. I'm gonna put it right here, and then right here, and then I'm gonna put it on blast. You guys gonna wait for the air to start blowing? Once you guys hear the air start blowing, this is my defrost, it's working properly. Right in here is my heater, it's working properly. Make sure you guys turn it off, especially in the hot days. Right in here is my fire extinguisher. My fire extinguisher is no crack, broken or leaking, securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's fully charged and properly graded for this vehicle. The pin for my fire extinguisher is on the lock position. From my fire extinguisher, I'm gonna come into the jockey box. My jockey box, inside my jockey box, I had three reflectable triangles. My triangles, they're no crack or broken, securely mounted, no missing hardware. I wanna mention that my floor is nothing to strut in my pedals when I'm driving. I wanna mention that in my dash, it's nothing to start in my view when I'm driving. Why like this? I complete my in-cab inspection and then you guys turn off the truck. You guys gonna wait for the grace for the light check, pre-trip, air brakes, and in-cab inspection. Good luck on your test. Hopefully you pass.